What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Gifted the Hands. I'm here at the shop, but I'm also enjoying some lunch right now. I got some watermelon, some cucumber, and I just killed half of a ribeye. I am trying something different, guys. I um I got I got to lose a little bit of weight, but I'm trying something different. I know my body is super carb sensitive, so I'm doing a carnivore diet, kind of sorta not to the extreme, but I still have vegetables and fruits. Uh, I'm just trying to stay away from the carbs. So hopefully you'll be seeing me transform, get out of this roundness in my face, get my jaw structure back, and uh, just feel good in my own clothing, in my own skin. So yeah, I'm 33, man. So it's time that I, I do something. But nonetheless, y'all seen the thumbnail for this video. I was honestly gonna think of some kind of crazy story, but he had some uh, a medical issue with his hair and that's what created that bald spot. For the privacy of the client, I do not wanna disclose what happened, but I wanted to use this video for educational purposes only. He came in with hair all the way down to the back, but before I started recording, I had already chopped off the back of the mohawk because in my previous videos with him, he had a mohawk, but from that time that I dropped that video till me cutting his hair yesterday, he had grew out his hair and it was super long because of the medical condition. So it's not, it's not alopecia. I told him that best bet is to knock off the back and fade the sides and to kind of like blend into that bald spot area. And that's what we did. So, but it was just such a big spot in the middle of the Mohawk that there was no way around it. So that's what we did in this video. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. And it does good for the channel. It helps me get back into the algorithm. YouTube has kind of kicked me out of it. So I don't know if they shadow banned me or what, but I'm trying to get back into the algorithm and get views for these videos, get the content out there for you guys. So yeah, hopefully with my transformation on my health will also, you know, motivate me to keep dropping videos, get more in front of the camera for you guys. Um, especially a lot of my new subscribers. I used to get in front of the camera a lot, but Sometimes you just feel those insecurities that you don't want to get in front of the camera, but you know, it is what it is. You got to make something happen. Shake, you got to shake some up. So, uh, so yeah, let's nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into this video. Hopefully I enjoy it. Yeah, let's go. All right, so right here I am putting in my first guideline using my trimmers. And notice I'm going right below that bald spot. I don't wanna to go too high because he is going to be getting the top of his hair braided. So I wanna keep most of the top long on top. After I create this first guideline, we're gonna go ahead and take the clipper. We're gonna open it up all the way, which is equivalent to a half. And that's going to be our next guideline. Now, as you can tell, the camera is going in and out of focus. I'm using one hand and then cutting with the other. I did not have my tripod this day, but we had to adapt. So that's what we're doing. I'm using the cinematic feature in the iPhone. So that's why it's going in and out. But right now you can already tell that that area is getting blended and you're barely going to see it. So after you use the lever all the way open, you wanna put the lever in the middle and start to remove that bottom line. Then to fully remove that bottom line, you're gonna close your lever like I did right there and that should blend it all the way out. Now, whatever you put a line in with, that's what you're gonna remove it with. So if this doesn't remove that bottom line, then you take your trimmer and use the corner of your blades to kinda nick at that bottom line and you'll see it blend in. But yeah, guys, it's good to be back. There are times that I take a break from YouTube making content. Um, like I said in the, in the beginning of my intro, sometimes I just don't like getting in front of the camera. But you know what? How else are you supposed to know who's behind the camera and cutting hair if I don't get in front of the camera? So this is also going to motivate me to get back on my health stuff and also drop some more content for you guys. But I thought that this was a great opportunity to show you uh, something that you can always have a solution to a problem for um, and i wasn't prepared to 
create a video on this day. However, we always had to adapt and overcome, right? So right here, this is my number one guard. Again, I started with the lever open, I put it in the middle and then I closed it. And that's, not, that's now my third panel. The highest guard that we are going to be using right here is a number two guard. The lever is all the way open and I'm kind of just kind of grazing up to the top of the hair. Again, I don't want to take off too much because he's going to be getting it braided here soon. Kind of like a man bun. So I'm using a two lever open to kind of debulk that area to blend right into the top. You're going to see that I'm constantly trying to tilt his head a certain way, but again, it's because I'm using one hand to record and the other hand to cut. So I'm not hurting him, I'm not pushing him. I'm just kind of like tilting his head that way he can look. You see how he keeps turning into to the clipper? <laughs> so yeah, that's why you see me kind of nudging him to tilt the other way. Now this is my one and a half guard. And what I like to do is for my one guard, I shoot to my two guard because it kind of gives me an area of gradiency that I want for a blend. I like to stretch out my blend. So I always do like a half of an inch to an inch per guy line. And I like gradiency in my fade. I don't like it to go light to dark. I like light, medium, dark. So going from a one to a two guard, you leave a little bit of darkness behind, which is the one and a half will remove. And then I take my one guard lever open and it kind of just nick at that line wherever the one and a half did not remove. And you see the gradiency from the bald all the way up to the top. It's not just like a drastic bald and then long up top. So this is a half guard. This is what's gonna bring that blend together. Whatever the one left behind, this is what's gonna remove it. But notice how that bald spot is just blending right in and you're not even gonna know unless you walk up on him closely and see that he has an area that's lighter. <laughs> that man is not missing no eye contact. Look down. <laughs> You can't you can't look at me in my eyes when I'm lining you up, bro. Cause then I'ma close my eyes and I'ma still line you up. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs>